Also, now it's six thousands of Bay Area children wrapping up their first day of school, but for some, the trip home could end up putting them in harm's way. Good evening. I'm Brendan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Hernando County scaling back its bus routes because of budget cuts, and that means more children walking to school near sex offenders. Just take a look at this map. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement put out showing 72 registered offenders living within a two and a half mile radius of Deltona Elementary School in Spring Hill alone. And as ABC Action News reporter Sarah Rosario tells us, deputies can't keep an eye on every child. Officers say they can't protect children from everything like sex offenders. Outside this school, we found 62 who live nearby. It's very concerning for parents already worried about their children forced to walk to school near busy streets like this one. It's a death wish. It's a horrible road. Suzanne Alhart lives less than a mile away from Brooksville Elementary School and says the busy road in front of her house is walked by many young children to get to school. My grandkids, I was scared to death. I said, do not go past that sidewalk. This year, budget cuts are forcing more Hernando County children to walk or bike because of an end to courtesy busing for students who live within two miles of their school. That's why more officers will be out in school zones to keep children safe. We're uh, concentrating primarily on pedestrian uh, enforcement, bicycle enforcement, school zone enforcement, and school bus passing. Another cause for concern is the route many children take is surrounded by sex offenders. We checked Florida Department of Law Enforcement's website and found a combined total of 427 registered sex offenders within a two-mile radius of Hernando Elementary Schools. We don't want to unduly scare our children, but I think we do need to make sure they understand that there are people out there, there's strangers out there, that may want to hurt them. Sheriff Al Neenheis says there aren't enough deputies to escort each child to school. It's very important for parents uh, to educate their children on who is living in the neighborhood. And I'm told no tickets were handed out in school zones today. I'm told officers are mainly giving warnings, but in a couple of weeks, that grace period will be over and people caught breaking the law here in Hernando County in school zones will be ticketed. Reporting in Hernando County, I'm Sarah Rosario, ABC Action News.